Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today let's give you a little bit of an update on the Crypto.com Crow Coin price. Now, I want everybody out there to beware of what is coming out in the next couple days, to be honest with you guys. Next week is going to be a very, very important week for all cryptocurrency holders. But if you're holding Crow Coin and you're wondering what's coming next in the price action for this asset and what you got to be careful of here around the corner. Now, forget the bull market's coming. We know that. But I'm talking short to midterm right now. What's going on in the next few months? And I want to spread some caution for you guys in this video. Let's talk a little bit about it. First, let's start off with some of the good things that are going on for Crow. Well, one, we have the Kronos chain, which is doing spectacular. This thing launched in 2021. It is a top project when it comes to DeFi and total value locked up in this chain. An excellent competitor, doing a great job, standing up next to Binance, the largest exchange in the world, the two only exchanges that have their own smart chain, or at least the most relevant smart chains for major exchanges right now, which is spectacular. That's good. We see a lot of partnerships with Kronos. That's been very good. Now for the Kronos coin price, as you've been seeing in some of our other videos, I do believe that we are getting to a bottom for Crow. It looks really good, both in the US dollar standpoint and when you're looking at the uh, Crow coin price versus Bitcoin, it looks like we are potentially reaching a bottom as well. These are all good things. Not to mention Bitcoin halving is coming. Spot Bitcoin ETFs did a video on that earlier. I suggest you check it out. Talking a little bit about Gary Gensler and his recent maneuvers. But I think all that's going to turn out very, very bullish for crypto in the end. But the thing I need you guys to focus in on is July 24th and 25th. It might be the 25th and 26th, but what is that date? That is when the federal chair, Jerome Powell, will come and speak during the FOMC meeting right after the Board of Governors get together and they make their decision. We are in a serious issue with inflation here in the U.S. It has been getting better. We're down to 3%, which is great. But the Fed's target inflation rate is 2%. So what's the story there? They need to get down to that 2% target. That is historically what they've always chased. And that's what a lot of people, including myself, believe that they are going to try to hit 2% inflation, which means what? That means they need to raise the interest rates just a little bit more, which is exactly what the federal chair, Jerome Powell, alluded to in his last FOMC meeting update, said there may be one or two more interest rates coming to uh, maybe 2.25% 2 interest rate hikes. And guys, I'll be honest with you, I think that is coming in this next week. So what can you expect? Well, first of all, you gotta beware because when the interest rate hikes do go up and they raise the interest rates, that usually causes a panic in the market and there can be a spike down. Now, one of two things is gonna happen. Uh, and I think that more likely than not, I actually will lean bearish. You know, I seem like a permable guys. I'm always bullish, but hear me out here. I lean bearish because I do believe, again, they're going to raise the interest rates. Well, what happens after that? I think we get some volatility, maybe excitement leading up to it. It goes up. The announcement comes out. They raise the rates. I think we come down. And then, unfortunately, if you look historically at August and September, Bitcoin is typically bearish. With an interest rate hike coming and then a potentially another one coming in the fall, I think the markets might get a little bit scared and September might be a little bit bearish. Typically, even in the traditional market, September is really not that great. Now, of course, this is not financial advice, guys, but this is just what I've seen historically. If you look at CoinGlass, you can see the percentage returns for Bitcoin month over month since 2013. And just look at August and September, guys. They are typically bearish. So I want everybody to beware because if Bitcoin comes tumbling down, then you better believe it there's a good chance that the altcoins come tumbling down as well. But how low can we go? Well, honestly, guys, I would say the lowest we go is to the previous lows, at least for Crow. As for Bitcoin, I would be shocked if it broke below $20,000 again. But the altcoins could see a little more pain than Bitcoin. But what does this mean for Crow coin investors? In my opinion, this means if we see the price go down, one more time, I think this is the final shebang. Once we get over inflation, I think this would be the final dip. This is my opinion. This might not happen. We might just go up. Something else might happen entirely, but this is my speculation that I wanted to share with you guys because I believe the Fed's gonna raise the interest rates, Bitcoin and crypto is gonna come down, the altcoins are gonna bleed against Bitcoin, and then we're really gonna hit our stride in the late fall, in the winter, and in the beginning of 2024. And I think things are gonna get very, very bullish very, very fast, 
fast with all these other things lining up, guys. I'm very excited. I want to give you guys this update. Please beware. Look out if you're leverage trading this week. Going to have a lot of volatility. Please be careful, y'all. That's all I got for you in this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, folks, you got to remember to DCA, HODL, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got some videos for you here if you want to check them out. Peace.